with uh, and all companies exploring or producing oil and gas offshore, people need to get offshore uh, to operate the oil facilities, whether it's drilling or production. And the only way to do that safely and reliably is with helicopters. Bristol's biggest clients uh, around the world are the super major oil companies, the Exxon Mobil's, BP's, Shell's, Chevron's, etc. It's basically a charter service where the oil company charters the aircraft and it flies wherever and whenever the oil company wants to fly. Probably 90% of the flying in oil and gas is for crew transportation and uh, then a small part of the other 10% would be for search and rescue activities. So helicopters have evolved over time to be able to carry more payload and go further. Uh, Bristol's got the largest fleet of helicopters in the, in the civilian uh, area. So uh, somewhere around 450 uh, aircraft. Most of that is medium and large helicopters that can carry between 12 and 20 people. When you fly offshore over water, the helicopters are far more sophisticated with additional equipment. The drive is to go further with more load and hopefully go further faster and burn less fuel. So all those things are being worked on. But when the oil price falls, uh, oil companies stop investing and therefore they stop drilling and stop building new facilities. So that has a detrimental effect to the activity in the helicopter industry. However, it's, it's not you know, completely bad because if the oil price falls to $40, then most oil companies do not shut in the platform. So that activity remains. And because the people still have to go offshore and operate these facilities, you still need helicopters. So it becomes a stable business from that perspective. Mm -hmm.